All right, so you have seen how I changed A. First A was two to one, now A became four. And this sometimes is exactly what I want. Sometimes this is exactly what I don't want. Sometimes I do not wanna be able to change the value. And sometimes programmers will change the value and they will not realize in some error or something like maybe you have 1000 lines of JavaScript and you use the, the, the variable name, I don't know, something like info. Imagine this, imagine you use a let info like this, info. In a thousand lines, you might use it again. So without realizing you will do info equals something and then later on you will do info equals something else. And that is bad because then when you have a problem, you won't see what's up. You were like, what, what the fuck? Why is it, what is in for this? I, I thought it was gonna be this and it's a pain in the ass. So the solution for this is to use, instead of let, we're going to use something called const, okay? And with const, it stands for constant, all right? And constant means it's a stable. It doesn't change, okay? So in this case, I believe, if I'm not wrong, that is going to work until this part. And here, JavaScript is gonna realize, hey, wait, he's gonna be like, yo, one second, man. You told me that A is a constant of two to one. So why are you trying to modify it? You shouldn't be able to do this. So let's run it, see what happens. All right, look at what it says. It says add assignment to constant variable, assignment to constant variable. It's very important that you always try to read the errors, okay? As a programmer, you need to be able to read the errors. All the information or most of the information you need, it's on the errors on your screen. So what's happening here it is saying assignment to constant variable at blah, 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 and that is an error because I shouldn't be able to do that, all right? And as you can see here, it is telling me the line and the exact character. So it's telling me line three, and the character is the first one, the second one, the third one. This is the problem. I'm doing assignment, all right? This is the problem. I shouldn't be doing assignment. So, yes. If you don't want people to be able to change your variable, then you will need to use const. If you think it's okay that your variable changes, then you can just use let, everything will be all right, and it will work perfectly because let allows you to change the value as many times as you want, okay? That is the only difference with let and with const. They just, one lets you change the value, the other one does not, okay? And that's the story of JavaScript variables. Simple, very simple. Now, if you were looking for tutorials in how to learn JavaScript before, maybe what you saw was some motherfuckers using this. And this stands for the actual word, variable. Now, the problem with this is that, actually, there was not many problems with this. The problem was that um, there are some stupid rules that JavaScript applied to var, and also you could modify var like you can use let, like this. And it will still work, it still works perfectly. But what they say is like, no, we need to be able to know if it's gonna change or not. So let's just change this into let and, and the ones that don't change into const. Uh, before, three years ago maybe, the only thing we had was bar. We didn't have const or let, okay? Now we do, and that's why you are learning on the best time possible to learn. All right, I will see you on the next video where we are going to uh, try to understand and we're going to see what kind of data can we put here. All right, because so far we only put numbers. What else can we save? See you on the next video. Bye-bye.